guess who's back? Me. And I'm here to do a contest to show uh, the comics that I won uh, from a contest for Tomb of Comics channel. Uh, Tomb of Comics, uh, the guy who runs the channel's name's Mike. Just right up my alley, man. He's weird. He's quirky. He's uh, he can play his own music. Uh, he does his own channel theme song. Uh, and he shows comics and figurines and just just a really cool dude, man. Really, like I say, he's really really uh, quirky, and I dig that about him. Uh, funny, and he loves his uh, he loves his comics and his horror. So and his Hulk, he loves him some Hulk. But uh, I won his uh, recent contest. Actually, me and uh, Sack Blabbit. Sack Blabbit was the main winner, and then I was the runner up. So whatever. Uh, he didn't want, I got, and I'm not complaining at all about what I got, so I'm going to show you the comics that he sent me. Uh, first off, he sent me this cool note, says, uh, thank you for entering my contest, I'll save you a room, that's part of the theme song, I'll save you a room in the tune. Uh, I enjoy your channel, as I do yours, keep up the good work, to my comics, my Yeah, man. Like I say, just off the wall, man, one of those people that I would love to hang out with if we lived closer. Unfortunately, I'm in Georgia, and I think he's in Las Vegas. So. But here we go. So, I got Conan, number 12 and 13. Do -do. And what's uh, another thing that's cool is there's a lot of like titles I'm not, I won't say I'm not familiar with. There's a couple I'm not familiar with, but some that I've never checked out, so it's going to be cool. Uh, we've got uh, True Believers number one, House of M. True Believers are reprints of uh, classic comics uh, from Marvel, and they only cost a book, and they're awesome. Now, this is something I was really, really stoked to get. I was a big fan of the original Magnus the Robot Fighter uh, when it was released. 92? 91? On Valiant? Anyway, uh, but I have not read anything since the, the original. Well, not the original. I think the original was what? Goki or whatever? Uh, but I haven't read anything since the Valiant title of Magnus. But I got uh, Zero. This is, I don't know what year this is, but this is the Dynamite comic. 2014. So I'm really, really excited about reading these two. Um, I really like Magnus the Robot Fighter uh, on, in the Valiant run. And there's number one. So zero and one. So, now here's one I don't, I'm not familiar with at all. So I'm kind of excited about reading this. Uh, Midnighter, number one. And Midnighter, number two. Then, I got this three-part, I think it's three-part, Valkyrie Comics, which I've never read anything on Valkyrie Comics. I love checking out independent comic titles. Uh, this is part two. So, The Fire Within, three parts, and this is The, the Dirge of Vic, Victus. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, looks like Victus. V-I-Q-D-I-S. New title for me. Never heard of it? Again, never heard of Valkyrie Comics? But that's awesome, dude. Cause I love independent comics. It all started with uh, my love of Pacific Comics and grew back when they were independent uh, back in the early 80s. Uh, I have heard of the Black Condor. Never read it. So I have Black Condor number one. Decided to read that. I am familiar with Nova. I've read some Nova stuff. But this is a uh, early title of uh, the man called Nova from '77, number 18. And then on the back, it's another title I have read, not a lot, but it's the uh, Micronauts, number 16, from 1980. It looks like there's Micronauts. There's the man called Nova. 
this one that I've heard not I've not read, but uh, Master of Kung Fu, number one twenty six, and on the other side is Captain Marvel number one. And uh, I think what's cool here is, and I don't know what volume this is, but uh, it got hate. Marked out. Not, not like, hey, hey. No, it's marked out. In case you couldn't see that. We got Marvel Tellers featuring Tigra the Whale. Hey, look, I got my first Western comic. The Ringo Kid from, um, 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 I don't know, I didn't have a year. But older, 20 cent. Ringo Kid, look at that. Hostage for Cheyenne, bruh. A Living Myth versus Firestorm, the Nuclear Man. I have not read that before. And then we've got on the back, we got like a Superman title. Uh, the 50 year anniversary of Superman, but it's, uh, The World of Metropolis. And this is the only comic of all these descent that I actually own or have a copy of already. Lot 13. I had this whole series. Great stuff. Dude. If you like horror, yeah, get you this. Uh, lot number 13 from DC. Which, and I think it's just a weird title to come from DC. They're not, to me, they're not known for this style. Not even on some of their uh, other labels. This one is on Dark Horse. I've not heard of this comic, but uh, like I say, I'm stoked to check it out. The number two of Skyman. And then this is cool. I've actually looked at some of these before, but I've never uh, picked them up. But we've got issues four and six of Masks from Dynamite Comics. So there's number four and six. And this has got Alex Ross art, by the way. And then finally, we have a comic I've never heard of and another. Yeah. Yeah, and another uh, comic, independent comic label or, that I've never heard of. Uh, but it's uh, Rorsch, Rorschach Entertainment. It's Brecken, the Destiny Dance. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a little offbeat. Something like that. It's, it's kind of artwork you don't see a lot. So Sprecken. It's another one I've not heard of, but I want to check out. So Anyway, thanks for sending me these. Thanks for holding the contest. And, uh, yeah, man, you've got killer content. And like I say, uh, stay you, stay... Stay awesome. Stay quirky, man. I really dig it. And uh, set you apart. Set your channel apart. And, uh, but it's you being you, so it's the best part about it. Uh, anyway, if you're not subscribed to my comments, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to go check his uh, channel out. And once again, thanks for sending me these, man. Farley, out.